Can women be sexually active during pregnancy safely? What is the role of clitoral stimulation in achieving the female orgasm? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. In general, women can be sexually active safely during pregnancy unless specific medical complications arise. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional to ensure there are no health risks. Clitoral stimulation is crucial for many women in achieving orgasm, as it is a highly sensitive area rich in nerve endings. Kink culture, BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism is a sexual subculture involving consensual erotic practices and games. For many, BDSM is a way to explore fantasies and boundaries. Lucid dreams are those in which a person is aware they are dreaming and can take control of their dream. Some people report having sexual experiences in lucid dreams. Male and female sexual response can vary significantly. In general, men tend to experience a longer resolution phase after orgasm, while some women may experience multiple orgasms without a refractory period. Masturbation. Masturbation is a common way for both men and women to experience orgasms. It is a healthy practice that can help individuals learn about their bodies and sexual preferences. Multiple female orgasms. Some women experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This may result from increased sensitivity and the ability to maintain sexual desire after the first orgasm. Multiple orgasms. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, involving one orgasm after another without a refractory period, enabling continuous pleasure. Myths about masturbation. There are many myths about masturbation, such as it causing blindness or hair on the hands. These myths are unfounded and lack scientific basis. Need for relaxation. Relaxation is key for a pleasurable experience. The anal sphincter must relax to allow comfortable and enjoyable penetration. Nonverbal communication. The ability to communicate through gestures, eye contact, and positive body language can be very attractive. Orgasm gap. There exists an orgasm frequency gap between men and women in heterosexual relationships. Women often have fewer orgasms than men in these situations, posing an intimacy concern. Orgasm without stimulation. While less common, some women may experience orgasms without physical stimulation, solely through mental or emotional arousal, sometimes called a brain orgasm. Orgasms during childbirth. In rare instances, some women experience orgasms during childbirth. This is due to the stimulation of certain nerves and is not something all women experience, but it is a curious and little known phenomenon. Oxytocin and emotional bonding. Oxytocin, known as the love hormone or cuddle hormone, is released during sex and orgasm. It plays a crucial role in the emotional bond between partners. Pain shouldn't be ignored. While some initial discomfort during anal sex is common, persistent pain can be a sign that something is wrong. Pain should not be ignored, and open communication is key. Pelvic floor training. Both men and women can benefit from pelvic floor training to enhance the intensity and control of their orgasms. Exercises like Kegel exercises can strengthen the muscles involved in the sexual response. Penis size. There is a wide variety in the size of male genital organs. Although the average is usually around 13 to 15 centimeters when erect, sizes vary significantly. Having a larger penis does not necessarily guarantee greater sexual pleasure for the partner, as satisfaction depends on other factors such as technique and communication. Personal style. How a man dresses and presents himself can be attractive to some women. Personal style can communicate creativity and self-expression, Point A. Similar to the G-spot, some women report the existence of an A-spot on the anterior wall of the rectum, which can be stimulated to induce intense orgasms. Postures and positioning. Experimenting with different postures and positions can influence comfort and pleasure during anal sex. Prostate and P-spot. The P-spot is the male counterpart to the G-spot 
and is located in the prostate. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms, and some men enjoy this form of stimulation. Pseudosiasis, also known as psychological pregnancy, is a condition in which a person experiences pregnancy symptoms, such as abdominal weight gain and absence of menstruation, despite not being pregnant. This phenomenon is uncommon, but illustrates the mind's influence on the body. Sleep and sex are interconnected. Having sex before bedtime can help release tensions and promote more restful sleep. Additionally, some people experience erotic dreams that can result in sexual arousal during the night. Role-playing games are a common way to explore sexual fantasies. Couples can take on roles and scenarios to unleash their creativity and enhance sexual arousal. Semen abstinence. Some male animals may abstain from ejaculating during mating to increase their chances of successfully mating with multiple partners. Sex and longevity. Several studies have shown that an active sex life may be related to greater longevity. Endorphins released during sex can reduce stress and improve mood, contributing to a longer and healthier life. Sex and sports, regular physical activity can improve sexual function and performance. Exercise can increase stamina and blood circulation, often translating into better sexual health. Sex education varies widely worldwide. Some countries have comprehensive sex education programs in schools, while in others, sex education is limited or non-existent. Sexsomnia is a sleep disorder in which a person engages in sexual acts while asleep, unaware of their actions. It can lead to awkward situations and may require medical attention. Sexual inhibitors. Some medications can have sexual side effects. Sexual inhibitors, such as some antidepressants, may reduce sexual desire or make arousal and orgasm more difficult. It is important to talk to a healthcare professional if experiencing these effects. Sexual toys in antiquity. Sexual toys have a long history. Ancient dildos and vibrators dating back thousands of years have been found in different cultures. Simulated orgasm. While not exclusive to women, some may simulate an orgasm for various reasons, such as satisfying their partner or ending sexual activity. Open communication and intimacy in a relationship can help prevent this. Studies on the clitoris. Despite the importance of the clitoris in female sexual response, there has been a lack of research on this organ compared to the penis. However, there has been an increased focus on clitoral research in recent years. Tantric sex is an ancient practice that focuses on spiritual connection and lasting pleasure. It involves techniques such as breathing, meditation, and body movements. The heart during orgasm. Orgasm can significantly accelerate your heart rate. In some cases, the heart rate can reach 180 beats per minute during an orgasm. However, note that this does not replace regular physic. The pleasure of hugs. Hugs are a form of physical contact that releases oxytocin, the so-called love hormone. Hugs can increase intimacy and sexual desire in a relationship. The role of dopamine. In sex, dopamine is a neurotransmitter that plays a key role in desire and reward. During sexual activity, the brain releases dopamine, contributing to the sensation of pleasure and reinforcing the desire for sex. Training. Some men practice ejaculation control techniques, such as the start-stop method, to prolong their ability to maintain orgasm. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.